I want to start by sharing with you something that I hear a lot. And I bet some of you hear it too. And this is what it sounds like in middle school. Uh, why do we have to do this? It sounds like some of you have heard this too. Well, it's no surprise that we struggle with student motivation. I was sitting in a meeting the other day. Someone was droning on and on about the latest buzzword in education. And I heard the same thing come from my mouth. Why do we have to do this? Well, then something clicked. The buzzword in this particular meeting was 21st century learning. And I realized that I already do something in my classroom that engages students in the four C's of 21st century learning, but it also engages me and motivates my students. And I think you can do it too. One of the classes I teach is eighth grade video production. In this class, students are engaged in these four C's, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, and communication. Most importantly, I let the students lead. And I think the results are amazing. We analyze short films for story using good old-fashioned literary analysis. We look at conflict, character, plot structure. We look at the, how, or the what of the story being told, but we also look at the how. How is the story being told? How do camera angles, movement, pacing, scoring, all help to communicate that story to the audience. This is the vocabulary, the grammar, the sentence structure of film. We learn to read this language through an exploration and critical analysis of short films made by professionals, but also made by other students just like them. We learn to write this language by making films. I ask students to demonstrate elements of filmmaking and storytelling through a variety of small projects. They collaborate to accomplish these tasks. They all have the opportunity to direct films. They take advice from their peers, but the ultimate creative decisions rest with them. I get most excited about the culminating project each semester. Each student fleshes out the details of a good story. They turn that story into a script. And then they have to pitch that script to the class. The class chooses one that they want to make as a whole class. This project could not be achieved without the entire class working together. Recently, I watched a class dissatisfied with all the story ideas. They argued and bickered for the entire class period until they combined several of the ideas into one story that was greater than the sum of the parts. Then I help them get this project rolling. I hire a student to be the director. They hire their assistants. They head up teams to plan and storyboard, to rehearse with the actors, to uh, film the movie, to edit the movie, to score the movie. Uh, and then we present it to a wide audience. I offer guidance and support, but mostly I have to gauge when to step in and offer my advice, but also when to step back and let the magic happen. And I know what you're thinking. It doesn't always go so smoothly, and you're absolutely right. But these problems that occur, these glitches, they provide opportunities for authentic, real-world problem solving. And that's a skill I think we would all agree that no 21st century citizen should be without. My students love making movies. And I have no special training in film or video, nor is there any expensive uh, camera equipment in my classroom. We use simple, inexpensive digital cameras and camcorders. The latest HD devices are not necessary. Also, expensive software is not necessary. We use Windows Movie Maker. It's installed on Windows machines. You can use iMovie installed in Macs at all. The web, especially YouTube, great source for tutorials. Movie making, though, is not just for specialty classes like mine. Movie making can find a home in any content area. History students can make documentary films. Math students can create instructional videos to teach concepts to others. Uh, health classes can make uh, public service announcements. And PE classes can do instructional videos as well. The possibilities are endless. Experience pitching ideas. Working together to communicate these ideas to a wider audience. Collaborating, 
to solve problems. Thinking critically about what has been done before so we can do it better. Leadership experience. These are the skills we want our students to have when they leave our classrooms, when they enter the real world. Albert Einstein said, imagination is more important than, lo than knowledge. Logic can get you from A to Z, but imagination can get you everywhere. Allow your students to use their imaginations to create and solve problems. Let them lead. They will shine. Thank you.